Hey McWarrior, welcome back to Open Plays McWarrior 5. We are right in the middle of X Marks the Spot, coming in on mission number 3 at this point. And we're in the Icker system, which is way up here. Almost at the edge of space. Known space, although actually... We do know some of that space, so I don't know why they call it known space or anything. But there you have it, the rock. He made it all the way out to space. I think he just goes by Dwayne Johnson now. Anyway, here we go. It's a 75, so slowly inching up. But the tonnage is the same. So we're going to keep our lance exactly the same. It is really good at this point for handling demolition missions, which is what this one's going to be. Why do I keep going back and forth? I don't know. Yeah, we got the battle master to stay aloof and shoot at mechs, in theory. And the rest of us to just tear buildings down. And shoot at mechs too. Because just because the mech setup for ballistics are really good at it, doesn't mean that the mech setup for energy, namely the Battlemaster, is in fact not shooting at the buildings instead of shooting at mechs. But if I go 2 1 often enough, maybe it'll get a clue. I don't use F1, F2, F3, I use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 because I don't use them for speed or firing groups, so why would I need them? Or why would I use the F1 with that long reach up there? Seems like we've got the trust of Yaros. We've been requested to take out a comms relay. Here's the decoded message. All right, Merc, we have the goods loaded and ready for transport. However, there's one complication that we need to take care of. In order for us to successfully get these supplies back to our home base, we need a certain infection control <laughs> get a little bit anyway. station taken offline until we get through their controlled space. You need to run a diversionary assault on their monitoring station while we make our supply run home. Do well, and we can meet face to face to discuss future plans. Make your way to the marked location and take out those radar dishes and any other targets of opportunity. We need to keep them busy and focus on us to give Yaros enough time to get through colonial space.
track now. We've created a big blind spot within the local intel network, and Yaros should be able to slip by without alerting anyone. Seems that you've won his trust, as he's just sent new coordinates with no message. It's a remote moonlight body that isn't known to be inhabited. What the heck is shooting me? Can't be that locust. Aha. Uh -huh. Looking at the wrong cursor, doesn't help. to McBay number one. That one. Mm-hmm. Slam pickings. And there you have it. A whole lot less than what we've been doing. And the hammer hands generating destructive power. Eek. What are you doing out there? Let's see if we have some class 5 jump jets here. Oh, still going to count that? Royalty class. And part four. Can't leave you all hanging. That's ah, just right around the corner. Star's end. Good place for a pirate base, isn't it? And possibly true at some point in time. Imagine your chagrin when they got there, looked out, and saw even more stars. This is a 90, 380 ton, so we get the beef up quite a bit. I even get a whole lot better money-wise. Now we're going to put the P with her because she has better energy and did better all the way across the board. Damn. Okay. And... Might as well be one of the other fast ones. Faster ones. The RS is the only one I don't have with an XL engine bumping at uh, 60 kph or better. And that's coming probably after I get the Corsair Privateer. Which is a 95 ton Hero Mech with an XL engine, two ballistics, and two medium lasers. And that's it. And I find that to be too limiting for even the AI to play. Someday I'm going to play this one and go through and kill all of Yaros' stuff as well. Just to see what happens. It's only three heavies in the medium, and I can handle that at the end. And he is part of the novel novels that you can buy. Jake Calamar, his little pirate group is in there. Seems the building he's talking about is in the back of this base. I'll mark it on your map. I see it right there. How come I don't have a base like this? I 
tell you, by the time I get done with the playthrough, I've got hero mechs and clan mechs enough to make a regiment. I think. Short regiment, at least. Super artillery. I don't like getting shot in the back. Let's see. Kill him first, guys. I pick up the opportunity targets. Somebody who's got the scene you want. I just cannot shoot it. Back in. Target acquired. Like I said, opportunity targets. And clearing the backfield. Goodbye. You too. See him. That was me. Saw the shoulders and thought it was an awesome. Cavalry charge back through again. And here comes Jake, or whoever it is. Oh man, I've got some yellow hits. I want this guy's legs. Just to make sure I get the internals. And once again, the uh, audio track way behind Seems actual be events. Hale party. took a beating. Not because I shot him in the back. Ooh, we lost an arm. And a large laser. Damn it. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Now let's get the hell out of here, Commander. I've had enough of pirates for one day. If you've under, ever wondered why the enemy always has a distorted voice, that's to simulate the slightly off frequency, the sound of distortion that you'd get from that. If they're trying to make their stuff talk on a frequency we can handle, but they don't usually use. Ooh, got, oh crap, only got two. I always use those. That'll do. That's a nice two. Bruised. Yeah, you, you should be. Busted off an arm. Nobody else took even a hundred. What are you doing out there, buddy? 
Let's go. Intact. Yeah, it didn't say legs, but at least it didn't loam. As you can see, it's, it's not a very good weapons loadout at all. And we're going to jump down to the nearest. This is where we left from. Oh. There. And since we're only 16 minutes into this episode, we'll go ahead and repair all. Except not him. Well, I'm going to do him personally. Not sure what it was. Okay, laser one, huh? Pretty sure I got one. In fact, I don't. That means it's time for an upgrade. I got... Wow. Don't like doing... On the arms of people that lose arms, but we'll have to go with it. Had those earmarked for my DH, actually. Pick those up as uh, rewards for a um, mercenaries. Like last episode. I'll do the offset. No, you don't get to do them both. So how are we doing? Gyro is available anyway? Well, I got flexibility. I'll take one. Thought I just bought one. No, I just inserted one. Never mind. Pay attention, Opa. Do I have an SRM-6? Two or four? I do not. I am depleted on SRM6s. Let's mark it. Duh. Here I go again. Nope, just a three. Alright. And bring him back. to Frankenmech. Yeah, they got it only going 46. Now, if I want to get busy with it, I just do that. See, now it's overweight. So I got to do that, too. 12 days. We'll spin those off. Okay. Atlas RS, come on down. An extra 10 tons, probably going to take it all up on just the engine. I'm going to put at least a 370 into it. I happen to have one. Three extra tons. What's the man to do? It's not cool enough by a long shot, so that's what we're going to have to do. I got a royal. Let me shove it in. Oh, let me show you that. Royals are good for two tons, but it's a point five. This is good for one ton, but it's a point two. So two of these would be point four. Royals gets you an extra one tenth of a point.
I don't need to do that. I can just do this. Yeah, and save the royal for somebody that really needs it. And there you have it. 3.4 is a well-cooled battle mech. Yeah. This does 13 points. This does 13 points. It's a single point, 13 points, but it's only 13 points. And that gets me back. Uh, two tons, one ton, one ton. I only got one ton to shoot. Can't do that. That bites. 15 tons. I'd have one ton for ammo. Except for that and that. And I'm still well within heat. And I'm sure I have ammo. It doesn't blow up, so who cares where it goes? Speaking of which, one of each, yeah, fine. One, two. I eh, think I want another one. Three is good for six. Still well cooled. And that. It's a much better build. Even though the damage per second went down because the Gauss rifle fires slower, it, uh, it'll do. And it moves faster. Now we just gotta start getting some mobility gyros. I don't usually sell these, but I really don't like the Corvair, so... I played in it, I played with it, I just don't... don't care for it. How does that work out when there's nothing here? Hmm... Curious. And I still got seven minutes. Or more. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, it's only a 230. Let's go see if we can round them up. Not likely. Bronze Legion got lucky this time. 700k, that's not going to bring down a mercenary. Filthy Lucra. I've also got the entire DLC right here for Call to Arms. Nope, if ever missions, I should be able to see them because I can see all the way here and up here. Oh, and down here, so that's, there's no missions there. Kill and Fold. One of my favorite industrial hubs. They have good hero mechs and good rare mechs. And yeah, I'm just burning time. If I can't find anything good, then... No big loss. Cantina missions, on the other hand. Nope. Only really looking for... Um, the same as always, the War Dog missions. Already got mobile fire, right? I thought I got them. 
And do I want to go back to low-level missions? Ark Royal is supposed to be the capital of uh, Davian Space. Or is it just one of the homes for one of the, like the Kell Hounds or something? I'm not sure anymore. 25 years, long time. That's how long ago I read all the books. Oh, and it's time to go. In five months. It's a two to five. Folks, we're going to call this an episode right here. Hope you enjoyed it. Um... Hope you learned something. Hope I can impart something on to on you. Make it not just entertaining, but also instructive. I uh, appreciate you stepping by. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Hope is out.